Hello, I'm Tim Hickey, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a simple apartment building um, by taking a cube and adding images of one face of an apartment building, each of the uh, four side faces, and then adding something for the roof and the base. Okay, so let's start. To do this, um, I've downloaded a few images, and I'll show you how I got those in a minute. Uh, but the first thing I want to do is to create a folder for this. So do new folder and open on the desktop. Here's the new folder. Let's uh, command I and I'm going to rename this apartment. Here we go. So now we have an apartment folder and let's go and look at the images. So I found, uh, let's see, this image is very nice on Flickr. Um, so let me make a uh, copy of part of this image. So I do Shift Command Four on the Mac, and that let me lets me drag and get part of it. Actually, I think I only want this that part there. Great. Um, so that just appeared here, and I'm going to rename it Command I. I'm going to call this um, Apartment. PNG. Don't hide the extension. All right. And I also want to get some of this floor here. I mean, some of this uh, asphalt for the roof. So I'll do Command Shift Four and grab a nice big square there. Okay. And that came up here. Command I. I'm going to rename that uh, roof. PNG and hide it. Uh, don't hide the extension. Great. And now I'm going to drop this roof.png into the apartment folder and the apartment.png in the apartment folder. Oh, come on, silly thing. Uh, there we go. And now if I open that, I see I've got the apartment folder, which is the apartment PNG, which is this, and the roof PNG, which is that. Okay, next step, open Blender. Here's the default Blender, and I'm going to put uh, the images right on here. So let's do File, um, Save As, and we'll put that, let's see, go to the desktop, go to Apartment, and we'll put it right in here, and we're going to call it Apartment.Blend. Apartment.Blend, and Save. Great. So now let's put those images on. Uh, if I drag the line here, I can make these about the same size. Click on the, the window type selector in the properties window and go down instead to UV image editor. Great. Um, and let me zoom in this a little bit with the middle mouse move wheel. And here you have to select the viewport shading as textured. And you have to go to edit mode to put uh, images tech on the side. So go to edit mode. Everything is all selected. You see it's orange. So I hit U for unwrap, and I unwrap it. And now it's each of those six faces of the cube is uh, are placed on top of that square in the image editor. So I'm just going to put one image on all of them, then I'll adjust it. So go down here, click on image, open image, go to the desktop, go to the apartment, go to apartment.png, and open the image. Okay, great. So we've added the image on each of these. Um, it's, let me zoom out a little bit. Okay, it's not quite exactly where we want it. So if we hit A to deselect and then B to box select, here, B to box select, we've selected now all of the six corner vertices there for each of those six faces. Hit G to grab, and I'm just going to pull it right there. And likewise down here, I'm going to hit uh, A to deselect. B for box select, select it G to grab, and I'm going to pull it right over here. Same thing, A to deselect, B to box select, drag it over and let go, and G to grab, and I'll pull that right there. Likewise down here, uh, A to uh, deselect, B box select, get all the six of those, G to grab, pull it just like that. Okay, great. So now I've got um, all the faces here, and if I spin it around, you can see they're all kind of 
not really where we want them. We want this to be the top. Uh, it would work better maybe, yes, if uh, we rotated everything up that way. So let's do that. Let's view from the front. And now hit, um, let's see, A, A to select all the vertices, R to rotate around the Y axis. So hit R and then Y. And now hold the control key down and we can get exactly 90 degrees. So now we've rotated um, the whole cube. And now if we zoom, that looks good, that looks good, that looks good. Oh, that one's off. So we have to adjust this one. So hit A to deselect. And now we want to select just this face. So come over here and click on this face select mode. Now right click in the center and we've got it. Uh, we've only selected this face now, the other ones are not selected. And now over in this window, hit A to, oh no, whoops, A to select everything and R to rotate. So we're going to rotate it like that, uh, which is not really where we want it. Uh, A to deselect, and now we just grab each of these down and put them where we want it. So G, grab that one there. G, grab this one here. Right click, and then G to grab, and put it here. And right click, and G to grab, and put it there. Great. Uh, excellent. And now let's do the roof. So right click on the roof. And for the roof, we'll get the roof texture. Remember that. So we do image, open image, and roof.png, open. There it is. Let me zoom out a little bit. And actually for this, if we hit A to select everything and S to scale, we can make lots of copies. So it's like shingles. Great. Um, and let's do the same on the bottom. So right click and image, open image, roof, open image. There we go. And A to select everything and S to scale. Whoops, maybe not that much. There we go. Bottom will be a little different. Okay, great. So uh, we have now created an apartment building, uh, except it's the dimensions are off, right? We want the dimensions more like that. So let's just scale it in the Z direction down a bit. So we go um, go to object mode and now hit uh, S for scale, Z for Z direction and scale it down down until it looks about right. I think that looks about right doesn't it? Yes I think so. Great here's our big apartment building. Um, now we need to put it in a group so we can link it. So go to properties, uh, click on the object pane, click on the plus next to add to group, and we'll call this apartment. Great. And then down here, um, in the text editor, click on new, and call this credit.text. And now we'll give the names. This is apartment.blend, um, uh, author Tim Hickey, um, date 9-28-2011, and the image texture is from flickr.com, and let me go get that address, which was right here. Um, copy and go back, paste, uh, and it's Creative Commons license. Creative Commons attribution Attribution, non-commercial, share alike. I remember because I looked at it. Um, great, uh, by Andy Callahan. Okay, so we save it. Save as, make sure it's in the right place. Apartment.blend, yes, save. And uh, we're almost done. So now let's go to Finder and um, we can get rid of that copy of apartment.blend1, we don't need that. And let's see if we go back to the desktop, there's the apartment, click on it, we do control click, and compress apartment, and zip, makes apartment.zip. Now go back to the Firefox, and here's my um, apartment building page on my wiki, I mean on my uh, Google sites, so I'll click on attachments, Browse, apartment.zip, open, 
and um, it's going to be attached. And it's also probably nice to uh, do a to add a screenshot. So here I'll do Shift Command Four, make a screenshot, and then I can upload that too, and then I'll be done. Oh, so how come this one didn't attach yet? Apartment.zip. Open. <clears throat> it's trying to upload it. There we go. And likewise, put the image in there. Um, it's nice to add an image. Um, but I'll let you do that later. Okay, so give it a try. Have fun.